company is always interested in maximizing the profit. The maximal profit is mostly limited by a bottleneck, but companies can use the drum buffer rope concept to use those bottlenecks efficiently. The drum buffer rope concept is a concept of lean management. It's built on the theory of constraints. The Israeli physician Eliyahu M. Goldred founded the theory in the 1970s. The theory of constraints analyzes the value chain of a company and focuses its optimization on bottlenecks. A friend of Goldred was the producer of chicken cages. He had problems to hold the days of delivery, so he asked Mr. Goldred for an economically analytic view of the problem. Goldred saw the problem and founded the theory of constraints. He was deeply fascinated. So he began with a systematic exploration of the theory. He summarized the findings in the book The Aim. What implies the theory of constraints? Here you have a common example. Imagine a bottle of water. The smallest spot is a bottleneck. To get the water out of the bottle rapidly, as much water as possible has to pass the bottleneck. If less water passes the bottleneck, it takes more time until the bottle is empty. But even if the water flow is fast as possible, the bottle doesn't get emptier as the bottleneck allows. The theory of constraints is applicable for all production situations. The drum buffer rope concept describes the necessary steps to use the knowledge efficiently. The bottleneck limits the maximum output of the production. It gives the beat for the production, therefore it is called drum. To prohibit the downtime, a buffer should be built in that delivers enough supply. The status of the buffer must be constantly controlled because it doesn't have to be overloaded or drying up. A feedback mechanism must be established. This is called rope. Because of rope it could be determined if new orders are accepted or if an acceptance stop is necessary. The outcome is the name drum buffer rope. An example. For the production of apple juice you have to press the apples. Afterward, the market juice will be filtered and finally the clear juice will be bottled. 2000 liters of juice can be pressed per hour. 1500 liter can be filtered per hour. 1800 liters can be bottled into one liter bottle. Therefore, the filter system limits the output of the production. The remaining part of the production must be imparted to the output of this production step. A buffer needs to be built in in front of the filter system. The buffer saves the continuous flow of the production. The stock of the warehouse gives information about how much output must be generated by the press to save the output of the filter system. The continuous work of the filter system has the highest priority. If there's a problem with the press, the buffer will bridge the situation. If there is a problem with the ampule filling system, their production could be increased to clear the backlog. But a production stop at the filter system will decrease the possible total output. The concept can be basically used for all companies in any industry. The exact determination of the maximum output gives planning reliability and precludes the underestimation of the production time. The feedback mechanism and buffer allows an efficient use of the constriction and therefore a maximization of the outputs. With the help of drum buffer rope, companies can increase their adherence of delivery date up to 100%. This increases the planning reliability, increases the reputation of the company and makes the production planning a lot easier. Furthermore, the total output could be increased because the efficient use of production processes is focused. This decreases the lead times and decreases the stocks and on that account of the capital lockup. However, Drum buffer rope is inflexible in the original form and requires a floating production where every station is only used once. Moreover, drum buffer rope only considers the optimization of one production step, although the demand is considered. So overproduction is possible and the stock that have been saved on one step could be on another step. Drum buffer rope and the theory of constraints are a concept of lean management and easy to understand. The theory sounds powerful, but the practice shows that the execution is limited. It's rarely used in its original form with the similar Kanban model. Nevertheless, the theory of constraints is a basic concept of lean management with its right to exist.